Welcome into another edition of the UWF Football Show. Coach Caleb Nobles, from University of West Florida, is joining us. I'm Will Kenny, and we're coming to you after a tremendous road win. Congratulations, Coach, on the road at Delta 24-21, the final. You knock off a top five unbeaten team. Uh, it was kind of was it kind of nice to be in the role of the underdog for a change? For sure, yeah. Our guys had that chip on their shoulder, and we talked about some of those things going into hostile territory and. Uh, being a great environment versus a great team, and our guys knew that we had to play our best with a chip on our shoulder, and they showed up and played that way. We had talked leading into the game that two teams that split the two meetings last year shared the conference championship, so there was a lot of hype leading into this game. I mean, going back to January when the schedule came out, people were pointing at this one. To go on the road and win at a place like Delta and to do it in the fashion, which we'll get into in a second, speaks volumes about your team. No, it does. It speaks volumes about their character, their resiliency, uh, their heart, you know, what they got in their chest, and you know, I challenged them in halftime, hey, don't worry about anything that's happening in the first half. Let's keep believing. Believe that, you know, we play full 60 minutes or whatever it takes. We're going to be just fine. Our guys bought into that, and we played very well in the second half. We'll set the scene before we get to the highlights. Six and two now, three and one in conference play. And that brings everybody at the top with Delta's first loss to, to that one loss. There's a lot of teams still at play for the conference championship, but we'll get into that later. Let's dive into some highlights. And you guys got the football first, and I know you've talked about wanting to get off to a good start. Didn't happen on the first drive, but the second drive, you get it together, eight plays, 80 yards, four and a half minutes or so off the clock, and, and really establishing the running game early. No, that was that was part of the plan. You know, we knew they got a very good secondary uh, and a whole uh, really good defense too. So we knew we needed to try and run the ball and get the ball on, on the ground a little bit, keep the clock running. But our guys did a phenomenal job up front, the, the o linemen and our tight ends blocking, and then our wide receivers doing what they do on the perimeter. A lot of stretch plays, you know, kind of, Getting it to the outside, which is something you tried a little bit earlier in the season, but C.J. Wilson, especially early on, was able to find that corner. No, he definitely was. C.J.'s got great top-end speed. He's a guy who you know can make plays and more you know, extra yardage out of plays than uh, what might be the initial run. So he does a great job trying to get him. We trying to get him in space much we can, and our, our wide receivers did a great job perimeter blocking. Your set. I'm very proud of that. Guy. That drive gets down to the green zone area inside the 30, and you throw a little quick one to Caden Leggett, and the yards after catch, we talked about it, but this one is special because Caden Leggett, senior, I mean, he gives everything to get this ball into the end zone. No, he does. He does exactly what he does every day in practice, exactly what he does every game, uh, just willing himself, willing our team to go get our, a touchdown on the board early, uh, doing a great job of running the right route depth you know, and everything that goes with that, and obviously it shows with a big touchdown. Weird stuff happens every time we go to the Delta. Your defense is playing really well early on. Force a punt, muff punt, and those are the kind of things that can flip momentum around. Virgil Lemons just kind of can't corral it, and Delta ends up with it inside the 10, and then two plays later than the ends. No, they, they did what a good team does. They capitalize off the turnovers, and uh, we talked to halftime, and we just got to eliminate those things and giving them three extra plays and drive extenders, what we call them, uh, and just making sure that we're doing our job. And, but I was happy that we didn't let that play keep rolling over and snowballing into uh, more negative plays. Flip into the second quarter, you guys are doing a great job of kind of keeping Patrick Chagag in front of you. I mean, he never had a long run in the game. He had a couple of scrambles for first downs, but nothing too long. They get a drive going kind of later into the middle, middle of the second quarter, uh, and then it's a big play. You know, 55 yard touchdown pass after, you know, your defense had really kind of kept them in check. Yeah, no, they got us with a, a double move and a big play there. and. Uh, just you know, had a little bit of a, a miscommunication on some certain things, and our guys know we got to clean that stuff up. And really, if you can you know, corral the big play versus those guys, and you know Patrick is going to do a great job of making his plays when he gets the opportunity. And you know he's a really good player for a reason for a long time in this conference. So he's going to make his plays, and our guys respond to that. Down 14-7. I love you know good teams do this. They answer with something, and you guys get a drive going, go down the field. A little bit of shades of West Alley, get inside the 10, then all of a sudden, penalty and you're backed out. Griff Sarah comes in, knocks on a field goal, but important to answer points with points. No, we definitely needed it, and it was, it was certainly good to, to finish that drive of points and help our defense out a little bit, get a long drive going, uh, and then have a chance to, to capitalize with some points by a great kicker. 14-10, and then the last couple minutes of the half, knowing Delta's going to get the ball coming out of the locker room, we've got an opportunity, give it back to them with 114, and they put together probably their quickest and best drive of the game. No, they did, and I, I probably heard our defense a little bit. I called a timeout trying to get the ball back, and you know I gave them an extra uh, extra play, uh, and they made a big play off of it. You know We got a couple miscommunications on certain coverages, things like that, but things that we can clean up, and our guys were, were resilient after that. We, did, we made some mistakes on the drive and gave them some points. Patrick Chagak throws his third touchdown pass, short one this time, a four-yarder, and it's 21-10. to 10. You guys throw a Hail Mary at the end of the half that almost works. It looked like John Giles tried. tip it to somebody behind him. Tried. It was Caden close. was back there. Caden was back there and almost came up with it, so it was worth the shot. You're down 11 going to the locker room, and it was talked about the broadcast and the game notes and everything. I mean, we've been there before at Delta. 
in Cleveland, down big at the half. What's the message at halftime? Yeah, just keep believing. I mean, I told our guys, hey, keep believing because it's a full 60-minute game, and we know that's a good team we were playing, but we had a good team in our locker room, too, and I want them to play with a little chip on their shoulder. And, you know, we, we knew that we'd made some mistakes in the first half that were critical mistakes, and we cleaned those things up and play our game. We got a shot to go win this game. The second half is a lot more fun. Trust us. No well, doubt. We'll take a break. We'll come back and get into those highlights next on the UWF Football Show. Why do you love your favorite pair of jeans? What keeps you connected to your oldest friends? How do you know that the solution you seek is right for you? The answer is simple. It's the fit. And at Pinair Credit Union, we believe your finances should fit you perfectly. It's the right checking account for how you spend your time and money. It's the right loan for where you are and where you're headed next. It's local banking that's as comfortable as your favorite pair of jeans. So come join us at Pinair Credit Union. You'll fit right in. Welcome back into the UWF Football Show. Coach Caleb Nobles is here. We are breaking down the 24-21 win at Delta State. I'm just going to keep saying the score and, the win, and talk about the win as much as we can. 21-10 at the half. You're coming out. You know that they've got momentum because they've scored three times in that first half. They're going to get the ball with Patrick Chagag. I heard you know, talking to some of the defensive guys after the game. They were like, they were like, no, we're, we're going to shut this down. No, they were. They had that confidence, and they knew that uh, we had given them some plays. Uh, Patrick makes some really good plays and does what he does, but – you know, we moved, we made some critical mistakes when our guys came out and they were stuck there. Lineman assignment execution did an unbelievable job in the second half and gave them zero points. You stopped them right away. The first drive as we get into the second half highlights, get a punt. Uh, you guys get a couple, you know, string a couple plays together, get out near midfield, but give the football back to them. And then your defense, you know, forces it over on downs. And I thought it was interesting that they went for it where they did. No, they did. It was kind of that midfield area and, you know, gave us a chance to get some good field position. And, um, you know, just really, you know, I thought they were going to try and pin us back. It came to field position, punt back and forth games for a little while. And, you know, they gave us the ball in midfield, and our guys used it as a great opportunity. Yeah, offenses, you know, good offenses take advantage of that, right? Whether it's turnovers, we've had lots of points off turnover this year, but getting that ball in their midfield, you got to you got to put it down there. I mean, you got to get six, and you guys do. You drive down, uh, ends that drive with one of the – I couldn't tell. It looked like they were marking him out at the three or yeah. so, and then all of a sudden, hands are going up. We're kicking an extra point, but John Giles makes another play. No, doing what he does, and we kind of loaded up the box and made it look like a run box and, and threw him a fade outside, and you know, we did a great job putting around him, and you watch the film, and the ball's you know three yards outside of John's head, and he goes and makes a play. So uh, that's a catch rate. It's what you call for a, a really good wide receiver there, and he did a great job going up there. And they were all over zero all night long, you know, pushing and shoving and trying to keep him in check. Uh, you guys forced another punt. The defense is just throttling Chicago and company at this point. Get the ball back. This drive starts late in the third quarter, flips over into the fourth. Nice sustained drive. Start at your own 31 and take it right down the field and cap it off again after some good, solid running. And you're running Peewee a lot. I think 27 carries in the game. I mean, yeah. he was a, he was a load, and he's, and he's a big boy. It's hard to bring him down. Yeah, I didn't know it was 27. That, that is a lot. So I tried to, tried to use him a little bit in the run game. Well, 19 for CJ, too. So. Yeah, no, I was trying to run the ball a lot and kind of establish that and give our guys a chance to get the ball on the edge and make it 11 on 11 football. And our guys did a great job of doing that on me. You capped this one with uh, 19 yards, same distance, same guy. It's John Giles, a little bit different this time as he's going to catch it and do the, do the leg work with it. Right. But all of a sudden, it's totally turned around. You guys are back in front, PAT's good. Uh, and now it's time to ride this thing out. But that that's another great finish by John Giles, who All-American candidate. I mean, this guy's special. Yeah, he, he should be way more than a candidate. I hope he's a, a first-team guy and he's earned it. Definitely has worked his butt off and, and does a lot of things uh, to earn that stuff. And he did a great job of, you know, what we feel saying early in the game. They're trying to take that stuff away, and now we get to slant right behind it. So great job of just execution by that offense. That's with 11:21 left, so there's a, some time to roll. You get back and forth. Both defenses are playing pretty well, but you guys are able to, even though you're not getting longer drives, run the football, keep running the clock. Right. Coach Cooley's hanging on to his timeouts, and it really came back and got him at the end because you're able to get a first down here and there. One huge one, uh, Pee Wee to Jamontez Woods with a little kind of shovel Patrick yeah. Mahomes style thing. And then you get Caden Leggett with a huge catch on your last possession. No, two clutch plays on third and long. I think one was third and 14, the other one was third and 13. And so uh, just plays that many the guys you recruit put the ball in their hands and let them go make a play for you and gave us a chance to run the clock, get the, you know, milk the clock as so much as we can and use really all 25 or 40 seconds of play clock, which helped out at the end of the game. Every first down equates to almost two minutes That's by right. the time, you know, you run all those plays and they, you were able to punt the football back to them with six seconds left. Defense does the rest. Walking out with the win, 24-21. How does it feel for you to go on the road and as the head coach and get that first win at Delta? That kind of environment, that those kind of stakes. Yeah, it's, it's a very awesome moment for me. You know, I'm very proud of our team, I'm proud of how they played. Proud of how resilient we were, you know, what we showed our heart was. Our guys were frustrated with our performance the week before, really showing what we 
didn't feel like we showed what we were about. And so our guys all answered the challenge for us to play well. Uh, and obviously, there was no better team I wanted to play than Delta in that moment to see what we, we have really have as a team. And I learned a lot about our team this weekend. Two to one, time of possession advantage. A little more than 40 to just a little <laughs> less than 20. I mean, that's huge against the team that came in averaging 40 plus points a game. 35 was their lowest point total. Defense holds them way under there. I mean, half of what they normally score. But a huge part of that is keeping the ball out of their hands. No, that was, you know, if you told me it was going to be 40 to 20, I would have said, I don't know about that. But that was part of our plan, trying to keep them off the field and, and you know, execute as an offense. Doesn't mean we're going to try and change anything we do, but, you know, go score points, but make sure we use some clock for it. And our guys did a good job of knowing the plan. We'll take one more break. We'll come back. We'll talk a little about the next opponent. And then also, we'll, we're going to hear from OG, Guy Laurent, your <laughs> linebacker, and Caden Leggett, who had that touchdown. Talk to the players and hear from them after the game next on the UWF Football Show. For those who sweat in determined pursuit, and those who meet the morning with a firm handshake and a smile, and breathe between stages of unwavering effort. Andrews Institute, for those who move. Bright Futures has awarded over 950,000 scholarships. You could be next. We fund futures. Visit floridabrightfutures.gov to learn more. Bright Futures case. Welcome back in. Last segment of the UWF Football Show with Coach Caleb Nobles. Let's talk about the next opponent. You're back home after two on the road. You know these guys pretty well. Um, th those guys from up in Georgia yeah. coming down across the state line to visit Penn Airfield. Valdosta comes in, one loss. I mean, this has been a great rivalry since this program started, and there have been some fantastic moments. You've been involved in a lot of them. Um, they come in. They're, they're still in position to potentially win a conference championship as well. There's a lot riding on this game. No, there is. And then our guys know that it's a one-game a one game mentality. doesn't matter who we're playing. we got to play at our best on the, whoever's on the schedule. And Dallas is an unbelievable team. you got a great head coach, uh, really good quarterback, really good skill guys, uh, really good players on defense that do a good job of trying to stop the run. So we know we're going to have to bring our A game again, and that doesn't change in this conference any week. They have, they've always done, you know, put up some points, you know, against against their opponents kind of coming through. It's kind of hard to gauge, you know, based on who they play week in and week out, but they're coming in after losing to Delta stringing a couple wins together. What do they do well offense? Yeah, their quarterback slings it around. He's a really good player. He's a great athlete. You know, he kind of sneaks up on you with his long strides and things like that. So uh, they got really good running backs. Uh, big old linemen that are long bodies that, you know, guys that, that, you know, really do a good job of trying to attack on the edge. and. Our wide receivers are quick. You know they're very fast, like they always are. About Austin, we know we got a we got a challenge ahead of us to keep those guys in check. And then on the defensive side of the football, what were you looking to take advantage of? Yeah, I mean I, I say it every week, but establish the run, mm -hmm. get our guys going. That's a part of the strength of our offense is running the ball and get our old linemen in rhythm. Uh, and then you know find the one on one matchups outside, get our best players in space. Uh, and let them go be the playmakers that we know they are. But also got some really good length in the secondary and uh, guys that we know are have a hands full to go against them. So we're excited for the challenge. It'll be a great game for senior type leaders like Caden Leggett and Gael Laurent, who we talked to after the big win at Delta. What does this say about this football team? I mean, that means we're relentless, man. We we never we never stay down. We always we always willing to take that extra that extra launch, you know, to to be on top at the end of the game. Man, we you know every single time we come over to this. Uh, in this town, every time we play this team, it's going to be a good one. It's a dogfight every single time. No matter the record, no matter what, we know coming into this game, it's going to be a dogfight. So good. good enough to get the win tonight. Always good to hear from those guys after the game. You can feel the, the emotion and the excitement and the satisfaction and the job well done from those guys. Four o'clock kick with Valdosta coming in. We'll be on the radio, ESPN Pensacola, Flow Sports, our streaming partner with the conference, and also your view. Uh, we'll be on at 3.30 with the pregame. Volleyball is playing right before, I think, at 12.30. Yep. Uh, it's going to be breast cancer awareness at the game, military appreciation stuff as well. And we've got soccer at home finally that weekend. They'll be <laughs> having their tailgate stuff. So it's a big weekend and another opportunity to take that next step with just three games left. No, that's right. It's a big weekend for UWS overall, and us be able to, to be the last game of the Saturday afternoon. So uh, a great opportunity versus a really good team, a great historical team. It's obviously won a lot of national championships, a lot of games, and so it's a great challenge for us as a program. And a, and a former quarterback, <laughs> Rob Austin, involved in yeah. as well. Congrats on the big win, Coach, and we'll talk to you guys next week. Don't forget to check GoArgos.com, follow these guys and all our sports across social media, and download that Argo Armada app to your phone or tablet as well. We'll see you next time, and as always, Go, Go Argos! Argos.